Well, hello, folks. This is Minister Victoria Scott, and this is day two of Taking Back Your Personal Power. I hope that day one was awesome for you and empowered you to be charged for this year, and we're going to continue on with more nuggets this week. Today, I wanted to talk about detoxing your mind, detoxing your soul, detoxing um, those things that are in your system, your, your mindset, and your soul, your feelings, your emotions that could be getting into the way of your progress. Whenever somebody is deciding to eat healthy, one of the first things that they do is go on a body cleanse or body de detox to take all of the toxins out of their bodies, to take all of the impurities out of their bodies so that the nutrients that they are taking in can better be absorbed by the body. So for this year, as you're setting goals and you're doing what you need to do and working on your strategy, you know, sometimes those things are blocked because of toxins in our way of thinking, toxins that are in our souls. And we have not dealt with those things first before we can put something new in it, before we can carry out a new strategy. So we can change what we're doing, but if our mindset is still the same, if there are issues in our souls, or like a great friend of mine and sister, Apostle Maple says, issues in your tissues, if there are things in there that are going on, it doesn't matter what you're putting in, it's all going to be uh, voided out because of those toxins that are there. So what I want to do for today is give you homework on how to detox your mind, how to detox your soul. And no better than getting it from the word of God, which is God's truth. So that's what you want to do. You want to cleanse out what is it, those toxins that are in your mind or in your soul by cleansing it out with God's truth. I love how the Bible says that it's that the word of God is like hyssop. Hyssop is a, a, a laxative. It cleans out everything. So today I want you to allow the, the, the word of God to be that cleanser that cleanses your soul that cleanses your mind of the clutter that is in there. And it could be things that we are, you know, either struggling with or things that we've kind of pushed to the side because we never want to deal with those things. So Romans chapter 12 is a great way to start. It's a great spiritual detox for you, for your mind and for your soul to make sure that as you're going, that uh, with what you are setting forth to do this year is not hindered by toxins that you have laying waste in your body, laying waste in your mind, laying waste in your soul. So when you read Romans chapter 12, the, fir the, the, the first two verses are the famous ones where we talked about, where it talks about being renewed by the transformation of your mind and presenting your body as a living sacrifice. And so later on throughout the whole chapter, Romans chapter 12, it tells you exactly what a, re a renewed mind looks like. It tells you where to place yourself. It tells you how to esteem other people. It tells you how to use your gifts. Some of you don't use your gifts because you've been so hurt by people. Let Romans 12 minister to you about your gift. You have not been given your gift for you to hold on to it. You've been given your gift to share with others so that you can be an answer to people's prayers. Do you hear what I'm saying? God has placed you here in the earth to be an answer to people's problems. So if you're holding on to your gift, you are not being effective in the assignment that God gave you here in the earth. It talks about hospitality. Come on, somebody. It talks about how to treat other people, your kindness to guests, to people who come to your home, to the way that you make people feel when, you're, when, when, when they're around you, being a gentleman, being a lady. All of those things are Christ-like. And so you want to make sure that you are detoxing all of those things that taught you to say, you know what, you treat people like this. It doesn't matter what people do to you. No, you be the standard. You be the standard and you be uh, who God has called you to be despite what's going on around you. Jesus taught in, you, you know, I, um, I believe it's in the, in the book of Matthew where he was saying, do unto others as you'd want them to do to you. Normally we quote that verse to tell people, yeah, you're getting what um, you know, would come to you, especially if they've done something uh, wrong. But, but really what I think when Jesus was teaching that the angle he was coming at from is whichever way you want to be treated, do that. It doesn't matter what somebody has done to you. How do you, how would you want to be treated? Whether you get 
a return, whether somebody does the same thing back to you or not, treat people the way you want to be treated. Okay. You set the standard. Be, Jesus says, be holy for I am holy. So holiness doesn't change because the other person didn't do what they're supposed to do. No, holiness doesn't step out of character because other people did stay in character. Okay. So even with Romans 12, it's telling you all of those details. It's telling you how to not revenge and how that God who, you know, um, God, God is the avenger. You know, sometimes we are wasting so much time and causing so much chaos because we're trying to get back at people. Okay. God says, no, listen, I've got this thing worked out. And, 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 and he knows because he knows the soul of somebody. He knows the heart of something, somebody. And I was, I was having this great conversation with my sister, uh, Veronica, Veronica the other day. And, 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 you know, just talking about how that, you know, sometimes it's just so great. Actually all the times it's great to just take your hands off of something and let God have his way. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't sit down with one another and keep one another accountable. I'm talking about vengeance where we feel the need to go back and, 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 and always retaliate. Those are those things where God is saying that I'm watching and trust me what people sow, they're going to reap. And God has got the perfect way, the perfect way of disciplining people. So whenever we dip our hands into all of that action, where <laughs> we're, it's almost like we're kind of messing things up. Let God have his way in people's lives. Okay. Because when we start getting involved with that, it's a distraction. It starts taking up a lot of our energies. It starts taking up a lot of our time, using a lot of your resources that you could be using into developing many other things in your life. So read Romans 12 today and let it detox your mind. Let it detox your system from wrong thinking, from wrong teachings. Detox it with the word of God and be free today. I love you. I'm praying for you and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.